So in this game, I'm, I'm, I'm going to spectate from my, my, my own perspective a bit more this time. I think Snake is definitely more, since I don't have the illusions to keep track of, this is more from my perspective and what I'm, what I'm trying to do. You can get it, yeah, I think you get better insight if I watch entirely from my own perspective. Let's, uh, let's fast forward a bit. Alright, so straight off the bat. I know what my team is doing here. I know that Bonker's going right, I know that Theo's going through mid, and I know that the carry, or like, I guess we have a Grok. Normally we would usually have like a Cassie or something here, but with the Grok, let's just assume that Grok is going to be playing like a carry, because that's why we picked the Grok. The Grok isn't a support, it's not a dedicated tank healer, it's a, it's a he's a bruiser basically. He's going to go in, he's going to fight, and if he has the chance, he's going to heal basically. So he's just more of a carry than anything. He's actually he's more like a tank tank than anything. He goes in, he does what a Thea or what a, a Makoa or a not a, not a ruckus, but a Fernando or a Makoa kind of would do, just chase people down, and be fucking annoying as shit. So yeah, my my idea here is I know like I need to stick with the tanks here. The carries they're not going to take too much poke. They shouldn't take too much poke. They shouldn't be in a position where they're like dying this early. So my job is to, I'm going to stick with the tanks, Theo's going to try to look for a hook, or Bonker's going to try to get some poke, or like some, someone's going to get jumped by a carry, or stunned by a, um, by a Shaolin, and I need to heal the tanks, I need to make sure they're, they're always healthy. Like, it's much easier for me to make sure the tanks are always full HP, and then just heal the carries when they take damage. Because if I, if I just hit one heal on a carry, then they're pretty much getting to full HP. Whereas for a tank, it might take a couple heals to actually get them healthy. So my job is to stick mostly around the tanks. So I go in here to the right. I know Bonker's in trouble already. Put a Gord and a heal for him and just start burning the shield. Again, this is, this is my position. Oops. This is generally my position. Is I'm just going to stand here in these corners. I'm just going to be obnoxious and like... If someone comes in there, I'll poke them out. Because Grok can pretty much outpoke anybody. Um, and then I'm just healing my tanks and my carries if needed. To here again, like this is kind of like more like the yin gameplay. I'm standing back here, making sure everyone's healthy. And then the tanks are already like the tanks here. This is not my positioning. That's bad. This is the tank positioning. I'm bad. That's bad. Uh, okay, actually, that's that's not entirely true. My positioning was so so there. I committed too hard to trying to help with the Eevee. Everyone committed too hard to try to deal with the Eevee. The Eevee wasn't that big of an issue. The Eevee had no target in this game, right? There's a Grok, Ruckus, Drogos, uh, Makoa, and Snake. It's very hard for Eevee to kill anybody with that comp. She doesn't have a Victor she can kill. She doesn't have a Cassie she can poke. She doesn't have a Shaolin she can one-shot or whatever. So it's very hard for her to kill anything. So our mistake here at the start was we focused too much on the Eevee. Like me, Lemonade, and Lazy all just backed up trying to deal with the Eevee while the tanks were just taking poke from their other four players. So eventually, it's like they're gonna win that trade, right? When you have three people looking at an Eevee, and they have four people looking at two tanks, they're gonna win that trade. So that was all of our mistake. Now, unfortunately, Bonker and Theo made a another mistake in that they went into the left. That's not somewhere I can heal them. A very important part about playing Snake is that you always have to have line of sight, right? They always have to be in a place where I can where I can actually heal them. Of course, that most of that's down to my positioning, right? I have to be in a position where I can always heal them. I can't have two or three people always trying to, like, figure out a position where they can get healed. It's mostly down to me to position myself in a way where I can always be healing them. But in this case, they should have known that we were fighting the Eevee. They can hear it in the comms that we're fighting the Eevee. They went in the wrong way. If they had gone into the right, they would have been fine. Because I can get into the right much quicker than I can get to the left. Here, I have to come all the way in... I have to come all the way over here to try to heal them, and then we're just in a really bad spot. We're stacked up. Like, there's three people there, just trying, like, <laughs> we can't do anything about that. So now we reset fully, everyone's resetting. We're making sure that we're not taking too much poke here, they're staying on their mounts. And then we see, okay, it's 75%, someone has to get the point. Bonker goes, okay, I'm gonna try to get the point. And again, my job is now, I have to keep the tanks alive. They're going into point, they're gonna just about to fight like four people and then I go into my little cubby spot right this is like this is my spot in this Jaguar in this Jaguar Falls game this is my spot 
And I, I can heal anyone from here, right? I can heal the tanks on point, or anybody on point. I can heal anybody that goes into where Bonker and Thiel are standing now. Or, if I need to, I can heal Lazy and Lemonade if I just go to point and heal them. So right, like here, I see, oh, Lazy is low, I'm going to come out here. Now I'm in a position where I can heal anybody. And the second I'm under pressure again, I go back to my little cubby. Fernando fights me, so I go, okay, I'm going back here. Like, I can't really take any poke there. You can see the Eevee's trying to kill me, the Eevee's trying to poke me a bit. And all I do is go, okay, I'm going to stand in here. This is my spot now. Now, if anyone comes and tries to fight me here, I can solo them. <laughs> like, that's what Snake does. Ying too, for that matter. Ying can do it too. I can just, like, if, if an Eevee blinks me in here, I can kill the Eevee. It's very risky for the Eevee to blink me in there. Because one, she doesn't know if there's anyone else in here. For, for all she knows, I could have a Grok in here with me. And if she commits and I stun her, then she's dead. So this is kind of like my spot. My, my job here is just to try to keep everyone alive from this angle. So, I mean, this is, this is like, if you're playing Snake, you, this actually applies to casual games and ranked games too. Like, if you, like what you just said, Iona, this applies to that too. Because if everyone rushes point, you can kind of sit in this little cubby. If someone comes to fight you, if a cast comes to fight you or an Andro, you can, you can fight them. Like, you just pop your stun, you can force the reversal by trying, like, trying to stun them. You can put a gourd on yourself and them and out, out damage them. Or all you do is you just stand here. If they're not pressuring you, then you're getting free heals. You can put a gourd on point. Like I am now. I mean, you can see, I, I can heal Bonker forever here. Unfortunately, the rest of the team's dead. So he's going to take way too much damage for me to actually out heal. But it's still, like, this is still the best spot. And even now, I'm, I'm like the only one alive. I just tried to actually... <laughs> that was actually a, f a funny thing. So Bonker, since Bonker died there, they all got off point chasing Bonker. And since they, they were at 99, I was thinking we might actually have a chance to cap there. Because I thought we were at 99 too. I read this at nine, as 99. So I thought if I got on point there, then I could have actually just capped it and snuck it. But I was we were actually at 96, not at, uh, at 99. So yeah, again, this is just positioning. At this point, it's like, we can't really do much. It's just like, I'm just going to point to kill myself, basically. It's like, it's a YOLO play. I might be able to do something, probably not. I'm just trying to die quick so we can reset properly. Alright, let's do defense now, I guess, since we are defending. This is, this is kind of a rough one a Snake, because here there's a lot of angles to heal. Like, there's nothing I can do about this. Like, Bonker went way too deep there, no one's killing the Cassie, and this whole defense was kind of the same. It, it was the same feel, where everyone's just kind of doing their own thing. Like, look at Thiel. This is Thiel's bad. Thiel's out here doing fucking jack-all. Even if he's getting a kill there, we're still getting fucked in the back lane. So if you're playing a tank, this is really bad positioning. Thiel, you fucked up. So everyone's kind of dying now. We're not resetting properly. So my, like, all, all I can do right now is, like, I can stand here, heal lazy, hope he kills something. And besides that, like, alright, I need to just chill. We need to reset properly. And then I, I get fucked. And you can see here, here as well. This is also really bad positioning. We have four people standing up here. For no reason. Like, everyone's just, like, taking all the free damage. They have all the angles they want. Like, Cassie could sneak in here behind. Shaolin can stand on point and spam them. Fernando can just fireball them all. It's a really bad position here. Since we're on it, anyways. You can see here, like, here comes the Cassie from behind. And there's nothing they can do about it. Because they're just in a bad position by default. It's very important that you hold angles when you're zoning. And it's like, you can see how much free push they got. Just from us not resetting properly. Like, the, the payload's already here. It's already in the base. And this is just from us not resetting properly. This is a mistake we did in a lot of the games uh, yesterday. Is that we didn't reset properly, both on the attack and the defense. We saw it on the fish market, when people were dying one by one, when we were attacking. It's the same thing there. We need to reset properly. And this goes for newer, newer teams, older teams, everybody. We need to reset. And we didn't do it properly here, and we got punished for it. This is something that D69 is very good at. They punish, the, they punish you for not resetting properly. So you, can, you can see here, people just dying. Deal goes in, dies. Bonker goes in, dies. And my job here is just like, I'm going to try to keep people alive. <laughs> like, Bonker's ulting there, so all I have to do is try to pocket heal him. I make sure that everyone knows there's an Eevee behind. Luckily, we get a full reset here. We actually wipe them. The, the Ruck Assault was enough. So now we push up again, just like before on the... Uh, 
on the other defense on fish market. We leave the payload, we push up a bit, we try to get angles to make sure that no one can get past us, and then we just zone them. We poke them, poke them, poke them. Unfortunately, this comp isn't that good for it. All we can really do is dismount them. They have Cassie, they have Shala, and they can always outpoke us. This is my job again. It's just like the Ying. I'm standing back here. I'm trying to keep everyone alive. I'm not doing any damage at this point, right? I'm just standing here trying to make sure that nobody dies. And missing heals, apparently. I think every now and then I'll throw a stun out. I'll throw a gourd out. Make sure that everyone's always full HP. Like, I want to make their poke completely irrelevant. And again, here again, this is not my fault. Lemonade and Theo had really bad positioning here. We Everyone else started to back up like you're supposed to. And Lemmy and Theo got caught out. Like, they didn't back up fast enough. And they're getting caught out. They're getting punished for it now. So I can't really heal them. I can't really do much about it. Like, all I can do is put a gourd for them. That's about it. The Lemmy gets caught out. He dies for it. Theo's in a bad spot, but I think he manages to get out. Oh, no. He got... Oh yeah, I remember he got disengaged over to the right side. And now again, it's like, we didn't zone properly, we didn't back up properly, and we get punished for it. And at this point, now it's like, this is pretty much just desperation play now. This is, we're gonna get overtime, we know we have overtime, so now it's just everybody pile onto the payload, straight up conga line, like, it's all we can do, right? The only thing we can do. The mistake we made here is that we used too many ults, we probably should have just given it up. Like, going 0-2 isn't that big of a deal if you can keep your ults for the next point. We shouldn't really have used all those ults, especially since they didn't use all their ults. Yeah, this is just like, this is just EU conga line. Everyone goes in, dies one by one. Nothing you can do about it. We should have given it up. Shouldn't have let them get ult charge for it. But it's whatever. Top plays. And like these plays, like when Thiel and uh, when Thiel and Lemonade were overextending there, you saw how they were around the corner for me, right? I couldn't heal them. There's no way I can heal them. They're both around the corner. There's nowhere I could have stood on the map that's safe for me where I could have healed them. And that's a, that's a big problem with, um, especially in like casual games and stuff. You're going to see that a lot. Where it's like, and that's what I talk about sometimes too. Like um, on Friday I talked a lot about it, uh, a lot about it that it's very hard to heal people in casuals because they don't want to be healed. And that's kind of what Thiel and Lemonade were showing off there, is that I can't heal them. They're just putting themselves in bad position, and they're, they're fucking themselves, basically. They're putting themselves in a position where they can't get healed. I can't heal them. The only thing they can do is back up. And if they start backing up too late, they're fucked. So what they should have done is they should have st stood in a more open area where I could have healed them. So even if they stay too long, I could have at least healed them as they came back. Even if they were too late coming back, I, I still could have healed them. Let's go. I think, so yeah, now we, I don't think we lose, yeah, we don't lose any more points after this. We fail one push, but. So here again, you're going to see the same thing, right? So here at the start, tanks are going through mid, Lazy goes up in the air, he's going to spam fire them at the start. Okay, let's go a bit further. I go into my cubby straight away, right? I get dismounted, go into my cubby, and now my job is just like, I'm making sure that the, car that the tanks are healed. I'm staying in my position. This is my area now. Now Bonker makes a f real bad fuck up here. We specifically said, ignore the Fernando, ignore the Eevee. They're not a big problem for us. Like if Eevee fights me, I'm fine. If Fernando fights me, I'm fine. They can't kill anybody else on the team really. The only way that they can, that the tanks, like the only way that we die in this game is that we focus the Fernando and Eevee. So focusing the Fernando and Eevee is not the right call. And then of course, Bonkar fucking kills himself by focusing this this Fernando. You can see immediately how much we're getting punished for it, right? Theo's focusing the Eevee, Bonkar's focusing the Fernando, and look how low everyone is all, all of a sudden. Like, I'm 1k HP, Lemonade's 1k HP, Theo's half HP, and he didn't have ult. None of us have ults. So it's like, already this is a bad call, this is a bad play. This is Bonkar, Bonkar's fault for focusing the Fernando, and this is uh, Theo's fault and Lazy's fault, I guess. I think there are more people in there, but they're focusing the Eevee right now. And so now it's like, again, now it's just me being in my cubby, I'm trying to heal everyone, everyone's taking too much damage because they focus the wrong people, and the carries just have a free time shooting whatever they want. This is like a full wipe, this is just us dying pretty much. I'm just going to stand in my cubby, try to buy time. Really what I should have done there is I probably should have gone out the, around the outside. 
I should have gone around the outside and I should have gone uh, back towards our base. I could have stayed alive then probably, but I just wanted to reset fast at that point. And so again, now we're resetting a bit. We're chilling a bit. Fortunately, uh, Lemmy died there, got caught up by an Eevee ult. But now it's like, it's a 4 on 4. We can push in, we're fine. Lazy's in a good position. And again, right back to my cubby. And I don't always have to be here. This is not, this is just a good place for me to be, especially with double tank. So I go on point now, they push the Cassie, I'm standing on point. And then if someone comes back to point, like normally what would happen here is Bonker starts coming back to point. Like every, everyone zones a bit, Bonker's looking for dismounts, people come back to point. And then once they come back in, like you see now, people are coming back in, I get off the point. I go back to my cubby, I go, fuck this, I'm a snake, I don't, I don't want to stand on point. All I'm doing now is just healing. I go back to my little cubby. I keep everyone alive. Try to keep Lemmy alive. He died anyways, though. And again, now I just spam healing. All I have to do is just stay here and just spam heal over and over again. <laughs> now this is the crucial. This is the crucial part. This isn't about positioning. It, well, okay, it's a, it's a little bit. It's a little bit of a positioning, but this is another important part of the game, which we can go over next time, I guess, where it's very important that you learn how to zone properly. If you're a new team, even in casual games, in ranked games, whatever, you have to zone properly. So we have the cap now. Three people are dead on their team. So the most important thing we can do right now is we get positions, right? Theo and Bonkar shouldn't be here. We're, we've already capped. Well, of course, they're, they're here because we just got kills. But the second we're here, they're just going straight to their base. You don't want to let them get out of base. You don't want to let them get positions at all. Like you see, you see, uh, Parado's already pushed up here on the left side. Like this shouldn't even be allowed. We should be in their base, completely spawn camping them so we just get free push past the chokes. Because the worst chokes here on this map are where Lazy's standing. It can be really hard to get past that. And then another one which is under the, uh, under the bridge, closer to the base. So you'll see here, the, the call is, okay, they're all dead. I'm capping, everyone else go push up. And you can see immediately after we cap, Thielen, well, there you go. Now Thielen and Bonker go, okay, we're going to their base. And the important part for me, for me is to say, I, I have to make sure that I tell them, I can't heal you guys. You're around the wall, I cannot heal you guys. It's so important for me to tell them that. Luckily, Thiel has some pocket heals from, from Lemmy. And then once I'm around the choke, I can say, okay, I can heal you guys, you're good now. And now I can just pocket heal the tanks again. As you can see here already, like, we have the positions, right? We're in their base, the Cassie died again. Like, you can see we're bonk bonkers all the way in there, in their base. And we're just holding positions now, we're forcing them to deal with us. Even if it's a suicide mission, right? They're, they're going in for a suicide mission, essentially. Eventually they're gonna die, the respawns are gonna come in, and they're gonna take more poke. It's better, like, if Bonker goes around a wall, I'm not gonna be able to heal him, and then he's gonna kill himself. It's always gonna happen. It's, it's, you can't keep track of everything at once, so eventually someone's gonna die. In this case, I think maybe Lazy died. And again, my job is I'm just staying close to the payload, making sure we're pushing. And in this whole time, look how far we've gotten the payload, right? We're, we've already gotten the payload to the second choke. Now we made a mistake here in that Lazy had, Lazy already died. He already got back to base. And Bonker fucked up by using his ult. And like, we, we got kind of staggered here. So this is a big mistake on our part. We got to the choke. What should have happened now is it should have been a full reset. Bonker fucked up, uses ult instead of resetting. And now the call is, okay, let's reset, and I'm just going to straight up bail. I'm like, fuck this, I am out skis, I'm running for my life. <laughs> Fortunately, I still died here, though, I think. Because, again, we didn't reset properly, right? I got greedy for the Eevee, I stunned her, and then I thought we could kill her. And this is just us. For the next, like, minute and a half, this is just, just fucking up. This is literally us just fucking up the zoning. Like, look, Bonker's going to fucking almost kill himself here again. This is what you're supposed to do, right? We group up as five here, wait for everybody. I'm making sure I'm looking at Bonker, making sure he's not taking too much poke. I'm making sure we, that I see where Lazy is. And then once we're all here, we start pushing again. I dash into a fireball, as one does. And again, so everyone heal up, everyone make sure you're healthy. Lazy calls that there's a Cassie overextended. So we start pushing up the right side, look for an initiation with a Thiel hook. And now at this point, our job here is just to we're looking for a pick, right? We're looking for a hook, we're looking for someone to overextend, for someone to fuck up. That's that's our entire do, uh, our entire job on the attack, is we're waiting for someone to make a mistake. 
if someone makes a mistake, we're going to punish it. And that's the same thing that D69 does. When we made a mistake before, when they were pushing, we made a mistake in that we didn't reset properly. That was our mistake, and they punished it. They punished it very hard. And that's our job here, too. We wait for someone to fuck up, for someone to overextend. Like, if we had hooked that Eevee, she would have been dead. That's that's the goal here, is that we wait for someone to make a stake, we poke, we out-heal them because we have a uh, we have a snake and a grok. And we just, again, wait for someone to fuck up. The, the issue we had here is that we were too stacked up. We were too many people in the same place. And it's like, we, we give them we give them option to flank. Like, you can see the cast is already behind us. Like, we don't... We don't utilize our angles properly. So at this point, again, the call is just reset properly. I'm just trying to stay alive for as long as possible. Everyone dies, we reset again. And again, now we make more mistakes. We make more mistakes in that we don't reset properly. Like, Bonker died again. We waste another 10 seconds waiting for him. And now, at this point, it's just like, Theo saying, I'm going to try to get to the point. It's like, it, this is useless at this point. This is just like, okay, we're resetting, fuck it. I threw a gourd, maybe I can, like, do some damage, whatever. Point's over. Let's go to the next point. Unfortunately, as well, you saw that Bonker used his ult, failed his ult on the attack, I mentioned it. So he didn't have his ult for this. Everyone else had ult, though. It should be fine, though. At this point, we said, at this point, we said, okay, now we know the game plan, we know what works. We pointed out, Bonker, you fucked up, chasing that Fernando. We pointed out, fuck the Eevee, it doesn't matter. And we did what we're supposed to do properly here, and it's a much cleaner fight. This is how f the fight's supposed to go. Bonker again goes to the right side, like he did before. We have Theo in mid, like he was doing before. Lazy's gonna spam at the start, and we're just gonna have angles, right? We just get angles, get information about where they are. We know that they didn't have Cassie ult, so we could just kind of position ourselves however we wanted to. They weren't... Like, we knew they couldn't really punish it. If Bonker went too far to the right, he wouldn't really get punished. If Lemmy went too far to the left, he wouldn't get punished, because they didn't know where everyone was. So here again, I go straight into my cubby. Bonker's trying to get a good position, get in quick. He has the master riding. And again, at this point, this is just me healing everyone. My team kind of bailed on me there, but it was okay. And then already, like, we got the pick, right? We got the pick here. My job now is just... Okay, now my team is going to commit. I know my team is going to commit. We got a kill. We got two kills, actually. So I know that my team is going to go really hard trying to kill them. So all I have to do is stay on point and just have to heal them as much as possible. Make sure I keep everyone alive. Make sure everyone's as healthy as possible. Help my teammates. And then again here, it's like the Cassie fucked up. I'm throwing a Gord to see if I can get her on the, on the end. And then again, I'm just healing my teammates up. At this point, my team should be zoning. But since they're not, I get off point. There, now now Theo does the right thing, where he's going up and zoning. He's going for the Shaolin. The Shaolin was really greedy here. He, he made a mistake. He was trying to get the point. They should have just given this point up at this point. Like, we had 97%. We're, we're going to cap this, no matter what. So, it's like, they should have just backed up as far as they could. I think Theo gets the Shaolin here. Um, he's doing what he's supposed to. He's zo zoning while Bonker and Lazy fight the Cassie, I think. Well, Lazy's dead. While Bonker fights the Cassie, Lemonade goes to help him, probably. No, no, apparently not. Fernando made it back, so... Again, like, this is just the same thing as before. I'm standing in my little cubby. You can see here, like, I can fight I can fight the Eevee, right? You can see what I can do. If the Eevee blinks me and tries to fight me, I can fuck her up pretty fast. So they took over my, co my cubby, there's too many people in there. So I have to stand back here, which is not... This is not a good place for me. I can't heal Theo, I can't heal Lemmy or Lazy. So I try to push in again, and then I go back to my cubby. Or, well, we got the cap here, but... And again, you can see, like, you can see the positions of the team, right? I'm yelling at Lemmy there, because he's not pushing up. I'm saying, what the fuck are you doing here? You should be in their face. And you can see, like, my team already has positions. They're already getting picks. They got a hook on the Cassie. And again, like, this is where I say, I can't heal you guys. Like, I can't do anything. Lazy went too deep. He fucked himself. For some reason, my heal didn't actually heal him there. And then again, like, this is a big mistake on our part. It's so important that you really utilize this first time after the cap. You have to use this time so well, because it's so important. The choke that I'm standing in right now is so important to get past, because it, you, you can hold this choke forever. It's just like the fish market. It's so, it's such an annoying choke. So it's so important that you zone properly, and you don't die. 
always when zoning, I always say the same thing. I say, I can't hear you. Focus on staying alive. Don't, you don't have to get kills. You just have to keep them from coming to the payload. Like, just focus on staying alive. Focus on staying alive. That's that's the important part. They died, and I think we still got to pass the choke anyways. Because the alien let me stay alive for long enough. And you can see, just even, even having two people, like, they're forced to stand back so far. So we just get so much free push for, like, just standing, chilling. This is, this is the thing now. This is what we're supposed to do, right? You can see Bonker, he has the position. You can see Lazy, he has his position. And all they have to do now is focus on staying alive. They just have to chill here. Bonker has his ult, so he's ready to look for an opportunity to go in. Eevee's already dead, so we're a man advantage, so we can use ults here. Lazy has his ult, so this is when we call. Okay, we can snowball now. We Everyone's here. They're a man down. We can start snowballing this. This is where people start pushing in, get angles. Lazy pops his ult, kills the Fernando. Bonker goes in a bit too deep. I should have healed him there instead of trying to do damage. Fucked up my ult, trying to kill the Eevee. And then yeah, now it's like, okay, we're dead. Reset now. Everybody reset. This is just like, this is just lazy feel and let me not dying fast enough. Like, this is just a another misplay on us not resetting properly. And this is like, I'm just like, alright, Bunker, you're on your own. I'm chilling back here. <laughs> and I just go back here and all I'm doing right now is I'm just looking for people coming to fight us. Like I just make sure we look around the wall. Make sure no one's coming. I make sure there's no Fernando coming to dismount us. Try to give information to the team if I see anyone. And now everyone's here. Now we can start pushing again. So I go with Lazy this time because I know that their their target priority is Lazy. They want to make sure that Lazy gets poked out so he can't poke. So I make sure I go with Lazy there at the start. Make sure no one goes and tries to kill him first thing. And again, I'm just sitting in the back. Spam healing. Trying to make sure that everyone's healthy. This is another misplay from the team. Team goes too deep. Cassie in the back. No one really, uh, no one really gives a fuck about the Cassie in the back. And she ends up uh, punishing us a bit. I think this actually worked out because we actually, we actually got some kills. Like the fact that we got the Fernando made it work because we got such good angles there. And you can see like the difference in my positioning, right? At the start there, I was positioned at the back. Make sure I can heal everybody. Make sure I'm, I'm staying alive. I'm not, I'm at zero threat right there's no one that can kill me and then as they wrap around us right now there's a ying and there's a cassie way behind us for some reason they wrapped around us trying to get me or trying to get it just try to get a good angle right and the way i punish that is by saying okay you can be behind me i'm gonna go to your base and now i'm in a position where again nobody can shoot me like there's no one that can kill me when i'm here the only the only chance they have of killing me is if elven path respawns all he can do is respawn and come try to kill me, but he can't because he has to get on the point. I can just stand here completely free and just spam heal. I have vision on everybody. I can see everybody on my team. And so I say, okay, you can have that positioning. Like you, you can you can have this positioning if you want. You can stand here if you want. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna go into your base, and there's no nothing you can do about it. I'm just always putting my putting my team between me and uh, and them. It's like wherever this cast is going. I'm just making sure I'm on the other side. I'm over here. Let her shoot the tanks, right? Let her waste time on shooting Lemmy and Thiel now. Lazy does the same thing, right? He's in their base. Fuck the Cassian Ying. I'm, kill I'm killing the Shaolin. I'm making sure we can push. Alright, and then last point. Let's fast forward a bit. Alright, so same same plan, same idea, right? Bonker and Thiel are going to the right side. Change it up a little bit each time. You don't want to do the same thing over, over and over again because then they're going to get punished. So they go into the right side, they're going into my cubby. Make sure that there's a place that I can get in, make sure that I can get in safely. And then Lazy and Lemmy are doing the same thing. They're getting their angles basically on the fight. So in this case, I didn't want to push in too far because I knew that Thiel and, Thiel and Bonker were going to wrap around there. I was going to stay on the open to make sure I could heal them. And this is just literally me just trying to stay alive at this point. Heal the tanks, make sure they're healthy. 
Bonker ulted. I knew he'd probably be low. Anytime that a Ruckus ults, he's gonna get really low. Again, this is kind of me just trying to stay alive right now. <laughs> I'm being chased by so many people. I had so much attention on me that time that I wasn't in my little cubby. Enemy killing spree. Enemy double kill. Okay, we got control there because lazy, lazy killed everybody. Now again, at this point, it's just everyone go zone. Lemmy's on point because I can't be on point. Once I get back to point, then Lazy and Lemmy can go do whatever they want. Lemmy goes behind to fight the Cassie. I make sure that no one's coming in from... Like, this is my job right now. I'm just making sure that we see everybody. We know where everyone is. I call out the Shaolin. Lazy comes and helps. And then I have a new cubby. I don't want to go to the right side. I have no reason to go to the right side. So I can just sit in there in the cubby. And make sure you uh, taunt. So yeah, that's that's generally how the game goes down. Those are the two differences. Two differences there: Snake and Ying, Fish Market versus um, versus Jaguar Falls. Both of those both of those factors make it play very differently. Um, but generally speaking, you you get the general idea, I guess, about the positioning. I'm staying safe. I'm making sure that I'm in a good position for me. That's my number one priority. Is I'm making sure I'm in a good position for me. On the Ying map, or on the fish market map, when I was playing Ying, the good position for me was out in the open. I put an illusion behind the box or behind the wall, and then I put one on point, and I'm in a good position. On this one, my good position is in the little cubby there. I can just stand there the whole game if I want to. Um, yeah, that's generally that's generally it. Yeah, nice stats, Lemonade. So yeah, that's it on support positioning, at least for these two games.